What's up, everybody? This is Squiggy with the Music Experience and Loudwire's Gear Factor. I'm hanging out with Mr. Paul Blastoff from the, oh, the, the band that was given to us from the Metal Gods, Slayer. Um, dude, thanks for hanging out with us. No problem, man. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, b before you were a drummer, uh, when you were just a kid, what is the drum part, drum riff, drum loop that got you to, to think, man, I, I, I want to go down this rabbit hole. I want to play drums. I guess it wasn't necessarily a part. The first thing I learned on the drums was, uh, was an ACDC beat. Yeah. And I taught myself that. Um, uh, my father got me a pair of drumsticks. I said I wanted to be a drummer. So he got me a pair of drumsticks. So I had this pair of drumsticks and a mm -hmm. drum set, not even a drum pad. So I, I started listening to, like my brother had, my older brother had some ACDC records. And um, I think the record was, um, was uh, man, it was high voltage. So I started learning how to play drums to high voltage to that mm -hmm. record, Long Way to the Top, like mm -hmm. all, the, all these songs. I loved the songs. And it seemed like a really good place to start. We had the Boston record, the first Boston record in the house. And you could see Sibs, the drummer from Boston, you could yeah. see his drum set. Yeah, so yeah. I had the idea, okay, that's how a drum set looks. Sure. So just through pictures and and seeing so a couple drummers on TV, I'm like, oh, well, there's you know, supposed to be a hi-hat here, a snare here, like, you know, got a kick drum here, rack toms and some cymbals, mm -hmm. but I didn't have any of them. <laughs> so, I, you know, all I had was a stereo wow. mm -hmm. and a chair. Mm -hmm. So I started air drumming. Wow. Um, and I taught myself on pillows. So I taught- Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I couldn't, I, when I started playing drums, I mean, the first beat I ever learned to play, and I'll just kind of, hope it won't be too loud. That's it. Mm -hmm. First drum beat I ever learned how to play. And it, it, as simple as that sounds, um, playing to ACDC records, great band, mm -hmm. great songs. But there's all kinds of other little things that happen in those songs that, um, you, know, uh, you know, just, uh, just stuff like this. Just weird stuff like that. Yeah. It's not even weird. It's just mm -hmm. stuff that, you know, it just, Oh wait, I don't know how to do that. Let me figure it out. But again, I'm doing it. I'm doing it in the air. Can you uh, can you give us a one minute drum lesson? Okay. What do you want to know? Um, double bass. Double bass. When when I first started playing, let's see if they can do anything. So that's a quad. That's a quad. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So in the '80s, that was kind of the go-to lick. Double okay. bass lick for a lot of drummers, right? Mm -hmm. So and that and that's right. That, so that what that is, and everybody knows this. It's drummers, anyways. Mm -hmm. Is right, left, right, left, right? Okay, you you can do that with one foot too, yeah. right? Yep. So everybody was doing that, and when I was playing in Forbidden. We were up and coming. Our first record. I'm like, man, like, everybody does that, and a lot of Bay Area bands sounded the same. Mm -hmm. We were we were stuck in the scene. I'm like, I've got to do. I got to try to find something different. Mm -hmm. Two drummers that I was listening to a lot because I was working a full time job then. At lunchtime, it was Steve Smith of Journey, um, captured. He does a solo on on that album. It's badass. Mm -hmm. It's great. And Tommy Aldridge, those two guys. They did they did stuff that thrash metal drummers weren't doing. And uh, one of the things, like, so a lot of guys were doing quads. So when they play their thrash beats, they go. And what that would be is, so that's, that's, so it's right, snare, right, left, snare. Okay. So I decided not to do that. I decided to play, I decided to do with one foot. And it gives you a totally different feel. Yep, it does. It's not as mechanical. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so, but that, going to the double bass, the quad was what a lot of people were doing. Mm -hmm. So what's the, so the quad's like one, two, three, four. I'm like, well, I should do something different. How about, how about three and three instead of two and two? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right? Mm -hmm. So I would do. Three and three. Wow. Wow. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ah. 
So and that that and so that really became infused into my style. Mm -hmm. And it, it, so the cool thing is, is like what what I like about Tommy Aldridge and and Steve Smith. Like if you heard a feel like with your hand, they would start the first part of the film. So they'd start there, instead of going, which was a popular fill back in the right. 80s. Right? Yep. It's just the yep. first triplet at the top of that fill. They do with their feet. And I'm like, that is the coolest thing <laughs> since sliced bread. <laughs> yeah. And it, 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 it fits in some stuff mm -hmm. and it doesn't fit in other stuff and sometimes the quad is a really cool fill to use too. Yep. I mean on Divine Intervention I, I gotta say I put more time this, I call these sixes one two three mm -hmm. the, the the lick note va the, the note value of that lick has, is, is six mm -hmm. so so I, I wasn't any good at quads when we did Divine Intervention I was horrible at it mm -hmm. I spent all my time doing this so when it came time to go like this I didn't excel at it. Yeah. So like, so like, you know, in a song like Divine Intervention, there's a feel that goes, let's see if I can do it. See? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a combination of what a quad, the qu quad, yep. um, and, and, and what the Steve Smith, Tommy Aldrich thing was. That's the first part. You know, for me, that was that, that was that, that was this. So I love it. I and love and, it. and in like in, in like fashion, mm. that's how I came up with the uh, killing fields. Wow. The killing fields uh, the killing wow. fields drum fill is is mostly it's just which was Dude. which was just Dude. that that was this. <laughs> Without that, that doesn't happen. So it came from the quad. So mm -hmm. that's like kind of like where that kind of drove me in directions that has helped to find my sound. I, I can't think of a better way to, to end this episode than than that. That was uh, that, that was amazing, man. Thank Thanks. you. This is Squiggy, Loudwire's Gear Factor, the Almighty Paul Bostov. Given from the God Slayer. Horns up. Bye.